Mr. Excel Podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 1714. Find and replace color of a certain word. I have to tell you, the boy, this question came in this morning. I said, oh, well, this is going to be really, really easy. The person said, quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog in a whole bunch of cells. I want to change the color of the word fox in all of those cells to red. Huh, okay. Well, you know, we can do this up at the formula bar. I'll change the color of a certain word. But if we're going to try and use find and replace, control H, we're going to replace every occurrence of fox with fox. I thought, well, maybe he hasn't seen the options. And out here in the options, we can choose a specific format uh, and choose the color red. So, hey, we're going to change every occurrence of fox in any format to fox in red. I do replace all. Oh, no. It's changing the whole cell. It's not just changing that word like I want it to do or like we're trying to do. So, control Z to undo that. Boy, I hate to do this, but one solution to this is to copy the data from Excel and open this other tiny little program that you might have on your computer. You probably have never opened it. It's called Microsoft Word. We'll paste into Word and then Control H in Word. We're going to change Fox to Fox, uh, but this Fox, the second Fox, we're going to go down here to Format, Font, and change the color to red. So now we're changing any occurrence of Fox to Fox in red. Replace all. And Word does what Excel can't do. Oh, I hate to say that. The beautiful thing about uh, Excel data being pasted to Word, it gets pasted as a table. So, Control C, it will go back and round trip perfectly to Excel. Control V, problem solved. Uh, but what if you, you want to go ultra geeky? Then let's switch over to VBA. VBA and this little color change macro here. So, my idea was we'd pop up an input box, say, hey, what word do you want to change? and then figure out how long that is. Why do we have to figure out how long it is? Well, I use the macro recorder uh, to see that we want to do cell dot characters, start at a certain position, length of a certain position, dot font dot color equals, this case, RGB 255 is the red that I use. You can put any combination of red, green, and blue in there. All right, and so that was simple enough. Loop through all the cells in selection. For each cell in selection, you know, do the find, and so on. Um, however, there is an interesting, uh, interesting situation here. Um, if you try and do a find and the word is found, it, it works great. But if you try and do a find and the word is not found, uh, then you get this runtime error 1004. Uh, and so I had to try and find a way to prevent that. So of course, on air resume next. All right. Uh, but here's what I found. WF starts out empty. Uh, we run the first find and it says that it's found at 14. We run the second find and on error resume next prevents the error. That's great, but WF never gets reset. It's left at 14. And so in my first few steps of this macro, uh, I changed the word fox there to red. And then when something wasn't found, I was changing those same three characters to red over and over and over again. Uh, so here's the final macro I came up with. Uh, we do have the on error resume next. I reset the WF where found variable to zero and then do the find um, and then check to see if it's greater than zero, do the replace and then oh by the way, I'm looping from one to the length of the cell looking for multiple occurrences of Fox. Go ahead and increment that that loop variable up to where found plus one. I guess I could really do where found plus the length uh, but I tried to think of some word that it might occur, well, I don't know. This is the way I did it. There's probably better ways. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if there's just a completely massively better way to do the whole thing that I'm missing. Uh, like I said, this is this one, I said, this will take two minutes to solve, and here I am three hours later, uh, finally recording the podcast. Ugh. So, uh, choice number one, go to Word, do the find and replace in Word. Boy, that seems horrible. Choice number two, this quick little macro here. Let's uh, let's give it a try. All right, so to try the macro, select all the cells that you want to operate on. Alt F8 to show the macro dialog box. Color change run. Word to change Fox. Click OK, and it goes through. It finds Fox everywhere, even when there's two. Uh, when it finds the word Fox inside another word, it changes just those letters, um, and seems to be good to go. All right, so Word or VBA. I want to thank you for stopping by today. Boy, what a long, arduous podcast for what sounded like a really easy question. Clearly not. At least it doesn't seem to be easy in Excel. See you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.